Hey everybody, welcome back my collective family. How y'all doing? Come on in, come on in. This is your girl Empress Meek sending you love, light, and positive energy. Let me like the sage for the haters because baby word on the street is. <laughs> I got a few, okay? But you know what? If people not hating you, then that means you just not great, okay? You're amazing, all right? Let me let y'all know that I bring high vibes, healing, motivation, acceleration, and encouragement. I got so many other things to do to come online and fool a bunch of people, y'all. I'm here to love you. I'm here to guide you on your path. And I'm here to show you the messages that Spirit has for you. That's it and that's all. So if you're riding with me and you're vibing with me, I love you and thank you for being here. Otherwise, God bless you. Go in peace. Be gone. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into this energy and see what amazing message of spirit has for you today. Y'all already know the vibes over here. I'm feeling amazing. So tell a friend to tell a friend is lit over here. Healing and love over here. High vibrations, baby. Big Empress energy, okay? Let's get into it, all right? Enough of the small stuff. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guys, thank you for bringing me here with my soul tribe, my lovies. Thank you so much for making me unique and set apart, Spirit. Thank you for using me as a positive vessel of love and light for the collective and all who are drawn to my energy. Thank you so much for blocking and binding all negative energy entities, witchcraft, and wickedness. Anybody who is sending negative energy our way or speaking bad or ill on our lives and our purpose, Lord, bind them. Okay? Thank you so much for giving us victory in every situation and abundance and overflow. Amen. Amen. And amen. Now, I usually don't say that long prayer on here, but baby, it's necessary. So whoop, there it is. That's how I roll. So let's see, because I got the Lord on my side. Let me stop. <laughs> it's true though, but you know, I can talk God in all things and I'm a light baby. I can't help it. So sometimes bright light, bright light, it's just too much for people. Okay. But it's all good. Let's, let's roll together. Let's rock with this. I know I have people here that love me and appreciate my energy and that's who I'm here for. Okay. So let's get it. Holy spare, holy angels. What messages you got? Oh, oh, flipping over quick. Okay. Let's see what is happening. Okay, the chariot. Let's see. Spirit is speaking, okay? Some things that need to be talked about. Let's see. It's been a minute, Collective. I miss you guys. All right, let's see. Victory. Good news is on the way. Public recognition or rewards, baby. So this is the energy. This is the overall energy. Get ready for some victory. Good news. People cheering you on. People supporting you. Loving you every step of the way. Baby, I feel like, honestly, Spirit wants you to know that you're appreciated for whatever you're doing collective. And this is for all signs, all placements. When you get this message is when you can add it to your life. But I feel like <laughs> Spirit is blessing you, all right? And slowly but surely, you're moving along and people are appreciating you all right they're appreciating the gifts that you bring to the table so let's go ahead and look at these cards and then we're gonna get the cleric um the tarot to clarify i'm here for a good time today not for a long time so this is going to be really short i want to do the other signs a couple of the other signs all right and i'm up at the at early in the morning over here y'all it's like 4 a.m but i woke up and I just started working, okay? I just started getting to work, all right? I guess it's just who I am. So let's get into this energy, and then I'm going to go ahead and clarify for you guys. So first, let's go through the cards one by one. These messages are going to tell you any energy that is around you, and it's also going to bring things to your attention that you may need to know about. So let's look. All right, we got the four of earth energy, and this is the angel tarot that I'm using. It says being too frivolous or cautious with money. It says good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. So this is earth energy. I could be talking to a bit of a humanitarian, somebody who loves giving, somebody who would actually help people in need. You know, I could also be talking to somebody who needs to be either cautious in their spending or you're not giving enough or spending too much. It's, it's important when you're manifesting money to have an e a even balance, all right? So you have to give to receive. So don't hold on to your coins too tight. I'm here and treat yourself or maybe you're moved to help somebody in need, but 
do something because it'll bring that money back. And if you know you're going through financial hardship or you need to save your money, Spirit is wanting you to do just that, okay? But this is talking about you making good business decisions. So whatever it is, you're learning balance here and it's actually working. So if you're wondering how your finances look, Spirit wants you to know that it's balancing out. Just make sure when you're manifesting money, you save more than you spend, Um, but don't like hold on to everything. You got to put something out in the universe so they can continue to bring you something back, all right? So that's for somebody. I feel like it's not for everybody, but somebody definitely probably could use something that I said about that. All right, next, we got the star card. So I could be talking to my Taurus Virgo Capricorns with that energy. Here we go, speaking to the Aquarius, um, possibly, but the star card is talking about rejuvenation. It's talking about positive energy. This is talking about happy times. Times. The card says happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. So if you're doubting that, Spirit is here acknowledging that you're on the right path. So keep going. Don't let people distract you. Don't let people try to steal your shine. I'm getting to tell somebody that you're a very bright energy. All right. And people don't always like that because you highlight the people's flaws that aren't doing their best. So don't get discouraged and while doing and being positive, keep going. Okay. It's a lot of people that you do inspire and you touch their hearts. So spirit is blessing you for that. All right. With this happy times. All right. So you're on the right path. Make positive changes. I mean, and long-term plans because you're going to be blessed all right baby spirit got your back okay not only that you have angels and gods that are all around you helping you achieve your goals and protecting you okay along the path because uh, overall energy baby we got the six of fire this is good news it's people cheering you along so you have more support than you think you do all right whether you see it or know it or not we got the queen of air hey my air signs what's going on lovies um independent experience realistic and very witty so this is talking about objective decision making making long-term goals this is talking about purposeful planning all right also this is saying clearing away all that no longer serves you seeing the humor in a situation so baby spirit is saying laugh at, at the at at the people that's hating on you or if you have anybody trying to cause you problems baby laugh at them okay because you're like I don't know what you think you're affecting, baby, but you're, you're not stopping anything over here. So those of you who are going through adversity or people coming against you or whatever the case may be, somebody may try to get you to doubt yourself or doubt who you are and what your capabilities are. And I could very well be talking to an air sign or you have air in your chart somewhere and you stand in your ground being direct, speaking to that mountain and making it move. Okay. You know, your power, you're owning your power. Look at you. Just look at you. <laughs> Male and female energy. Okay, you guys know I don't read for gender over here. It's just the energy. Um, and it's male or female, whatever you're doing in your situation. Just take what resonates, y'all. Leave the rest, you know. Um, don't force it, okay? Um, then we got the chariot. Okay, look at this. Uh, this is full speed ahead, baby. This is an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So this is spirit telling you that as long as you believe in yourself, then people will believe in you. As long as you're confident enough to balance your energy and move forward in a positive light, baby, you're going to get the victory. It's nothing nobody can do to stop it. Okay. Under this, I have the nine of earth. This is saying enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Employment. If you have your own business, baby, you're going to thrive. You're going to grow. Spirit is blessing you, okay? Then we have underneath that, Knight of Earth, loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. This gets you everywhere. Whether you're an Earth sign or not, we all have Earth in our chart at some point along the year, all right? You're never in your sun sign all year round. This says time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel is with you. Baby, I told you, you're guided, all right? Underneath that, we got the high priestess. I could be talking to my Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. I got my fiery Leos in the building, Sag and Aries in the house, okay? All of y'all are here. Hey, loveys. All right, this is saying, listen to your intuition. Have patience, okay? Consider carefully what you want before acting. And this is what Spirit wants you to know. And the high priestess is, um, the, sits behind the veil. She has deep knowledge and wisdom about the 5D, about this 3D world, and direct connection with the divine. So use your divine wisdom, okay? Let's see why all of this is here. What Spirit wants to tell you, baby. Let's get into it, okay? 
<sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know y'all. People hate me because they ain't me. Whatever. I mean, I'm a lo I'm a loving person, so I don't give too much attention to the negativity. But baby, <laughs> take it up with God, okay? Take it up with spirit, the divine, okay? Let's see what's going on here. But God bless, God bless everybody. You know, the world needs what? What happened to world peace? <laughs> y'all laughing? I'm serious. All right, let's see what's going on. Ah, let me see. God got me, baby. You think I'm a uh uh? It says it says uh, uh God said uh uh uh. Anyway, and I'm like, yep, yeah, you know you're right. That's why I love you, Lord. That's why I consult with you and everything. Let's see what's going on here. So for the four of earth, fans too frivolous or too cautious with money, possibly, and good business decisions. Show me what my collective needs to know. Big boss energy, okay? Spirit wants you to take control, okay? You're a leader. All right, for some of you, I could be talking to my Aries, my Emperor energy. So this is you, big boss energy. This is you taking charge. The Emperor is um, a ruler of empires. The Emperor makes very tough decisions, but also it takes a lot to get the Emperor out of out of his character. All right, the Emperor is very wise and knowledgeable. Okay, in money, financial matters, home, your home stability could be very important to you. I feel like you're standing your ground. You're taking the lead in any situation. You know, you're very loving and kind and noble, but at the same time, you're very serious and direct, especially about business. So this is all about you taking control and taking charge in a situation. All right. So with this emperor energy, um, especially in financial matters, you want to make sure you're taking charge in that situation. Also, the emperor does give to others. And whether this is your energy or helping someone in a time of need, whatever the case may be, you're, you're, you know, trust your judgment, all right? Spirit is just acknowledging that you're the boss and you're a leader, okay? A good leader at that. Then we got the empress underneath the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be looking for their counterpart. We do have the empress looking, the emperor looking out onto the horizon. So you could be waiting for your divine match, your counterpart, or anything like that. I could be talking to a Taurus here or Aries that could resonate with this energy. But spirit is like, don't let anybody get you off your game. Stay focused focus you got good things coming and people are cheering you on expecting the very best from you so don't let your people down whoever this is that's on your side or hoping for the best for you don't let your people down don't let yourself down okay stay focused that's basically what this is saying stay focused with the empress energy under the bottom of the deck i feel like pfft, it's like you're winning and not only that you can have your counterpart coming soon let's see because this could be for a single person who is just trying to capitalize and trying to stay focused you're trying to manage your money wisely um somebody could be working on their credit here i see you doing a lot of things like getting yourself together as far as finances and stability so let's see what else three of pentacles Good business decisions. This is teamwork. This is new collaborations, people working with you. I see you in the kitchen cooking, okay? And when I say you're in the kitchen cooking, you're making plans. I've been making plans. You're planning for your future, all right? You're trying to make sure that you make the best decisions because you're serious about your stability and your security. And I see you laying down the, the foundation for something very stable that's going to grow. And with these three of pentacles, you could be just starting a business or working on something new, working on new business ideas. But whatever it is, you have very lucrative ideas and it's going to work with the three of pentacles. It's going to work out for you because you're taking charge, because you're in this emperor energy all right staying focused staying determined and your angels are here helping your heart heal from whatever you need to heal from bringing you balance all right this is you practicing self-control um time management managing your emotions like whatever this is your angels are here helping you balance in a situation helping you heal you're standing out with this star energy and not everybody is happy about how you are so resilient and how you excel how you succeed everybody is never happy for you i mean take a page out of my book sometimes people are mad just because you're positive or loving or kind you know and it and it take a hater to recruit a hater so it's like as long as you stay focused baby it's going to work for you no matter what you do so stay focused believe in yourself and continue to invest in good things things that make a difference and god <laughs> yeah i said it god is right behind you helping you and supporting you so do that okay 
All right, so let's put this angel right here because your angel's like baby temperance. And I could be talking to my Sagittariuses out there that could need to hear that, okay? Let's put it right here. Maybe you can see it better over there. Yep. All right, so look at your angel standing guard, okay? And your people right here got your back. So whoever that is for, okay? Show me more spirit for my um, collective. What does a collective need to know at this time? All right, we got the King of Swords. So you're clearing out the things that don't serve you. The King of Swords does not play, all right? The King of Swords is very serious and very fair and balanced. Like, they don't take a bunch of mess. So it's like somebody, you could be being very direct or wanting to be honest. Somebody can want to have an honest conversation with you or there's a need for somebody to be honest. But I feel like this is you and this energy clearing out things that don't serve you, being direct about how you feel, being in this very serious energy where you're just not taking no stuff. Somebody is serious about their healing, serious about their work, because the Three of Pentacles can also talk about work and collaboration, having people working with you. It's like an emperor and a king of swords. So somebody could also be upset with you or challenging you, challenging your leadership or whatever the case may be, or this is just you serious about this over here whatever this is you're working on and you're clearing out whatever doesn't serve you so you're just like i don't you know i don't need this here but we also have the queen of air and the king of air here all right so there could be some type of important conversation that was had um something about teamwork or whatever the case may be but let's see what's going on because in this deck this stands for something different kind of it's not exactly what the traditional king of wands and king of swords would be all right, but we got this Six of Cups energy. So you could be defending your children, defending your family life, just protecting your positive energy. I feel like really you are a very loving and kind and soft-hearted person. But at the same time, when something is coming against you or something has you feeling like you need to stand your ground here, it's something here. Why is the King of Swords here? Let's see who it is. It could be somebody that wants to talk to you, wants to be honest with you, wants to admit something, some kind of truthful conversation. No, this is you. I knew it. Standing your ground, putting an end to the confusion. So whatever this is that is causing confusion in your situation, you're standing up to that. It's like you're speaking on that and you're protecting your positive energy. Because it looks like somebody, why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah. So you're investing. So I feel like whatever this is, you're invested in something that you're working hard on. You're putting your blood, sweat, and tears into something and you're taking charge. You could be a boss, all right? Working on collaborations or the people that you work with, teamwork is important to you. And whoever's not trying to work with you is against you. And you're just like, okay, well, I'm clearing that out. Somebody here don't do the confusion. It's like you don't do the emotional instability and all that crazy stuff. So you're cleaning out something, clearing out something and moving forward. You're continuing to invest in the things you believe in, protecting your energy, six of cups here, or you could have somebody from the past that's waiting to talk to you and wants to have a serious conversation with you, but you're focused on your business over here. It's like you're moving away from conflict and confusion. So whatever that is, whoever that is that's bringing that, you're not feeding into it. Somebody is blocked and definitely like you're blocking out whatever it is that doesn't serve you or is trying to get in your way. Somebody could be trying to come and apologize to you for something or gaslight you because this is very persuasive energy here. It's not anything really steady. Um, but this could also mean that you're just being very loving and very lighthearted, but I feel like this is somebody bringing you a cup. So I feel like somebody wants to offer you something, maybe appreciation, spiritual love, high priest. So maybe this is spirit being proud of you. I feel like you're making spirit proud here. Honestly, I really feel like this is spiritual love. I feel like this is God telling you that he's proud of you for whatever you're doing. So somebody been working really hard and spirit is proud of you or something like that. But this is spiritual love. This is good news. And I feel like enlightenment also. Hmm. Show me the, the chariot. Empress. King of um, Knight of Swords. And the Five of Cups. So we can have a Taurus energy coming towards you, wanting to rush in. Five of Cups in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want to be sad anymore or something like that. Or it could be, <laughs> I feel like this could be somebody rushing in towards you being disrespectful. 
or anything like that. But I feel like you, you're not like whatever they thought they were going to make you feel. Somebody tried to make you feel bad, but you don't. It's like somebody couldn't affect your emotions or your feelings like they thought. And you're getting justice in this situation. So whatever this is coming towards you, trying to challenge your intellect, challenge your commitment, you're clearing it out. You're ignoring somebody like real, real bad. And somebody is very upset about that. And I feel like whatever they did, their plan failed. They thought that they were going to make you upset or there's somebody trying to challenge you or whatever the case may be, but they did not get the reaction that they were expecting. And you got judgment for that. You get to be more balanced for that. I feel like whatever was done in the dark comes to the light and you get wish fulfillment and happy times. Okay. And somebody here gets left out in the cold. Somebody here gets left out in the cold. Mm hmm. And it could be some type of Taurus Capricorn or Virgo energy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so thank you guys for being here with me. Um, I love you so much, and I appreciate all your love and support that you give our channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you. And for the two little subscribers that left, I just wish you the best. God bless, okay? Bye. Okay, <laughs> guardian angel. Someone from the other side says, hello, you are guided and protected. Enough said. I will talk to you guys later on. Don't forget to check out the other signs and the other videos. Maybe there's something there that will resonate with you. I'm all about growth and acceleration, so don't miss out. I love you so much. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.